September is Suicide Prevention Month, and the City of Columbus is taking action by giving you ways to lock up your guns for free. Thanks for joining us at 11, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Tintipi's Richard Solomon talked to one mother about this. He is live tonight from Columbus. And Richard, what was her message to you? Well, Yolanda, Andrew, a mother I spoke with earlier this evening says a simple lock could be a life-saving safety measure. And regardless of whatever reason they're being passed out, she wants these available to everyone every single day. Every single chance she gets, Chantel Dondesi can't help but talk about how proud she is of her son, Tykees. We're working with him every day, trying to get him back to, you know, Tykees. I know it's not going to be A1, um, but, you know, we're trying to get there. But he's doing just fine. I got to my homework. He said he just finished his homework. These moments right here are special because nearly a year ago, she almost lost her pride and joy. On October 2nd, Tykees accidentally shot himself in the head after he picked up a loaded gun off a of bed. He was at a family member's house. Then 24-year-old Tiante Diggs was charged with endangering children. Don Desi says this could have been prevented if the gun was safely stored or put away. Just put them locks on them guns, just to make sure y'all your child is safe at all times. They're little; they don't know. They're all they know is, it's it's it looked like a play toy. And this month, Columbus Public Health is giving away free gun lock boxes, and the city is giving away free gun locks. Don Desi is urging people to take advantage of these opportunities. This could be anybody's child. Anyone's child could go through this. Now, the next chance you can get a lock box is September 20th at Hilliard Darby High School. And tomorrow, actually, you can get a gun lock at East Point Christian Church. For now, reporting live in downtown Columbus, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon. Back to you.